Hi, I'm Amanda Haas, and I'm a professional cook and founder of One Family, One Meal. And I'm so excited to be in my own kitchen today with my boys for Pottery Barn Kids. We're making one of my favorite recipes. What's your name? You want to tell Connor them? Haas. Connor Haas. Connor Haas. And who are you? Charlie Haas. Charlie Haas. And we're here making a pumpkin cheddar cheese ball. So it actually doesn't have pumpkin in it, but it's just a cheddar cheese ball we're making to shape, be shaped like a pumpkin. It's a really fun treat for them to have um, on Halloween before they go trick-or-treating or any time during the fall. I'm going to start by putting a couple cups of cheddar cheese in my KitchenAid mixer. So you want to keep your hands away from it. We're just going to try to beat this cheese up and so it gets really finely shredded so you get a really smooth cheddar cheese ball. All right, let's turn it on. You can look, right? You can look and see what I'm doing. Okay, I think it's done. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah, all right, so let's add the rest of our ingredients. Scrape this down a little bit. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of sour cream for texture, two tablespoons actually, and one stick of cream cheese. And then for color, I'm actually adding paprika, so you don't have to add any extra coloring. It just gives it a nice little flavor and that great orange color. Then I just need a half teaspoon of salt and a little bit of pepper. Who wants to put the paprika in? You can just dump it right in, the whole thing. Thanks, honey. Perfect. Charlie, you want to do the salt? Give it two big pinches. I want about a half a teaspoon of salt altogether. Nice. And I'm going to do a grinding of pepper. Then we'll just add cream cheese and a little bit of sour cream for texture. You could actually use Greek yogurt too if you wanted. You're going to help me shape them after this, you guys. We're going to shape them into little pumpkins, right? Yeah. And that's where it gets fun and creative for the kids. Everyone can make their own. Get a little bit more of the cream cheese out. So I'm just going to beat this until it all comes together, and I'll probably just need to scrape down the sides of the bowl once or twice. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. OK, so hands away, and here we go. Gonna be good. Let's just stop and scrape it. And again, this is a mom-only thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. M-O-M mom. M-O-M mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let it blend for about 30 more seconds, so it's really smooth. Okay, perfect. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to let the boys shape them into whatever size they want and decorate them to make them look like pumpkins. Okay, guys, so there's a couple ways we can actually do this. We'll start by using an ice cream scoop. If you want them really round, this is a good way to do it. And so we're just gonna scoop it, and you can make them rounder with your hands, or you don't even have to get that meticulous about it, and you can just scoop them straight onto the sheet, okay? And your hands might get a little messy while you're doing it, so just make sure you've got a towel nearby. You want a towel? Sure. Yeah. And then if you really want to have some fun with it, you can take a small butter knife or just a plastic knife and you can cut the lines of the pumpkin around it, right? And make it really look like a pumpkin. Isn't that cute? And I love that this is an opportunity for the kids to get their hands dirty in the kitchen, but it's really safe too. And then we're going to use these pretzel sticks to top them. Such a clever way to make it look like the stem of the pumpkin. But if you wanted to, you could actually take the bottoms of broccoli florets and use those as the stems as well. You guys putting them in? Mm -hmm. You got each one? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Now we're going to put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour just to let them set up before we serve them to your friends, OK? Exactly. Perfect. For this recipe and other fun, entertaining ideas, you can visit PotteryBarnKids.com or OneFamilyOneMeal.com.